Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded today that we are created in the image and likeness of God. And God has given us a mind and reason so that we could give meaning to our world. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength.
you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth, and no grass of the field had sprouted. For the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil, but the stream was swelling up out of the earth and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food. With the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order. You are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden, except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breast, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created. And, real, and you renew the face of the earth. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Please stand. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. The 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that Everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine. Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within man, from his heart, come evil thoughts unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we hear again from our first reading another creation account. And we are reminded of the central place given to man in creation. And it is only man who was created in the image and likeness of God. Meaning, we are given our mind and our reason as the image and likeness of God in us. Tayo po ay nilikha na mayroong isip nang sa gayon tayo ay maging kawangis ng Diyos na lumikha sa atin. That is why man is set in the center of the Garden of Eden and around him was created plants, animals, and other created things so that man can take care of creation and man also can give meaning to creation. Man can give meaning to the world. Kaya po tayo nilikha sa wangis kamukha ng Diyos nang sa gayon, gamit ang ating isipan ay bigyan natin ng kahulugan ang mundo na ating ginagalawan. Kaya nga po, anuman ang ibigay ng mundo sa iyo, anumang pagsubok ang itapon ng mundo sa atin, tayo pa rin ang magbibigay kahulugan dito. The world may throw challenges at you, but you can transform them into opportunities because it is us who will give meaning to the world. Kaya po, mga binamahal na kapatid, kung ikaw man ay dumadaan sa iba't ibang mga pagsubok, itinatapon man ng mundo sa iyo ang iba't ibang mga pagsubok, ikaw pa rin naman ang magbibigay kahulugan diyan. 
kaya mong baguhin ito ang mga pagsubok kaya mong gawin na mga opportunities para sa iyo. That is why Jesus in our gospel reading today gives importance not to the things that come from outside going inside us. Jesus gives importance to the things that come out of us. Pumasok man sa atin ang iba't ibang mga pagsubok, pero kaya nating baguhin ito at tingnan ito bilang mga opportunities para sa ating buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, God has given us the power to give meaning to our world. Siguro po, isa sa mga pinakamalaking hamon at pagsubok na ibinigay sa atin sa buhay natin ay ang dumaan na pandemya na ito. Siguro two years ago, naaalala ninyo kung gaano kahigpit na pagsubok ang pinagdaanan natin dahil sa pandemic. Kahit ho kami dito sa simbahan, matinding pagsubok po itong pandemic na ito. But instead of looking at it as just a challenge to bring us down, many of us transformed it into a wonderful opportunity. Tiningnan po natin ito bilang isang mahalagang oportunidad. Kaya nga siguro, kung hindi dahil sa pandemic na ito, ay hindi maiisip namin sa Manila Cathedral magkaroon ng online ministry. And thanks to God, because of this online ministry, we have become together. Mas marami na lalo ang nagsisimba sa Manila Cathedral. Mas marami na ko ang naging pamilya namin. Mas marami na ko ang nakakilala sa simbahan na ito. We thank God that the world may have thrown the challenge of the pandemic to us, but we thank God because of our mind and reason that He has given us, we have transformed it into a meaningful opportunity. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded that whatever the world may throw at you, it will always be you who will give meaning to the world around you. Amen. Please stand. For Christians, there is no higher law than the law of love. Let us pray for fidelity to this law and sincerity in our practice of religion. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be renewed and be purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring hope to the despairing more through our loving actions than through pious words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our hearts hearts may be filled with the honest desire to live for one another so that we may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may be comforted by the Father of all love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our deceased brothers and sisters may join in the true worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our brothers and sisters 
who were greatly affected by the strong earthquake in Turkey and Syria. We pray for those who have perished and we pray for all those who are suffering right now. May God send them consolation and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, purify our hearts so that we may not lose sight of our goal to love you above all else. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. This coming Saturday is February 11, the feast day of Our Lady of Lourdes. Uh, at the Manila Cathedral, our celebration of Holy Mass this Saturday will be at 7.30 a.m. And on that day also, after the celebration of the Mass, we will have the celebration of the Sacrament of the Anointing of the Sick because Our Lady of Lourdes is patroness of all the sick, those who have ailments, and those who are in need of healing. And so we invite all of you this coming Saturday, February 11, at 7.30 a.m. to join us in the celebration of the Mass and receive the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. Secondly, we would like to request from your households if you have old dried palms, no, yung ating mga palaspas na mga luma, ay maari po ninyong dalhin dito sa Manila Cathedral sapagkat ito po ay susunugin at gagamiting abo para sa nalalapit na pagdiriwang ng Ash Wednesday. Maari po ninyong iwan ang mga luma po ninyong palaspas dito sa opisina ng Manila Cathedral. And lastly, our Healing Rosary for the World this evening at 9 p.m. will be hosted by the Diocesan Shrine of Santa Marta and San Roque Parish in Pateros, Metro Manila. We thank them for hosting this evening's prayer of the Rosary for the Healing of the World. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ina, ina,